So we have the legal hold plugin installed here already, and we actually already have one legal hold set up, but I'm going to show an example of how we can set up another one first. So we click create new, give it a name. We'll call this demo legal hold. Um, we can then uh, add users to it. Um, I've got various sample users in here with nonsense names from the uh, generating some data. Um, we can set a start date. So let's start it back 1st of November last year. And we can either set an end date or if we're not sure when this is going to end, we can leave that blank. So for now, I'm just going to leave that blank and it will continue indefinitely until we either set an end date or release it. So we'll hit that button. So now the legal holds showing up in our list there. Um, we could edit that legal hold now. Let's say we've now worked out we want it to end on the 31st of January. So we can set an end date there. Um, and while we're at it, let's add another user to it for good measure. Um, so that user we're adding will only be added from today onwards. It won't go back and um, retrospectively get that data. But from now, the next, the next iteration onwards, that will contain the user's data. So we'll update legal hold. And there we are. It's updated in the table here. Um, and then I'll switch to my legal hold that I made earlier now. We can download the data from it. Um, so that downloads all the data collected in that legal hold up until um, the most recent sort of daily run of the legal hold process, um, unless the legal hold has passed its end date, in which case, you know, it's the full beginning to end of that legal hold. So I'm going to press download on that now. And um, we can see we've got a zip file there, which is called um, uh, legalhold.zip, uh, uh, legalholddata.zip. And then the only other action we need to see in here is when we're completely done with the legal hold and we want to erase all trace of that legal hold from the system um, and all the data that's held by it, we can click release. And we click, you know, are you absolutely sure? Release there. And now that legal hold is gone and it's data that's stored specifically within that legal hold has all been erased as well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I've got the, uh, the downloaded data. I'm just going to uh, quickly show you what that looks like. Um, so let me just find that. Um, So we have a zip file here that we've downloaded, a folder called legal hold inside, and then the name of the legal hold and its ID there. And inside it, we've got, most importantly, we've got index.json, which is the data at the index. Um, so that contains lots of useful information about like the users who are included, when, or which channels they could see and when, um, and various other bits and pieces. Now that's in a machine readable format. You know, you can analyze that, you can process that in some way you want, but you don't have to, um, because we'll show you in a minute how to get it into a more human readable format. Um, and then within that, we've got these folders, which are for the channels, messages. Inside, we have CSV files with the messages in them. So you can see it's quite, um, you know, it's quite a lot of data in there. It's not particularly human readable, but quite easy to process. Um, also, any channels where there are attachments will have a folder called files. And within that, you'll find the uploaded files that people attached um, inside there. Um, so that's the sort of non-friendly view of it. Now we'll have a look at turning it into the friendly view. So to do that, we've got a command line tool, um, which is the uh, Mattermost legal hold processor. Um, and what we can do is um, run that now. We give it a path to the data, the, the zip file we downloaded. And we also specify an output path, which is where the, the generated data is going to go. Um, so we run that now. Bang, let's run that. And at the end, We've got this link to an HTML file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that into my brow into my browser and paste that in there. And it takes us to a rather more human readable version of the legal hold. So we've got the details, the name and ID up there. Um, over here on the left, we've got a hierarchy of teams and the channels within them. So this is all the channels where we've held data. 
um, within the legal hold and we can click on them and have a look. So there's the messages with their timestamps and text um, over here. And then, you know, it's got direct messages here, direct message channel. So this is between me and myself. It's the, the sort of personal notes direct message, which is why it's showing my name at the top for both. Um, and then on the right here, we've got all the data organized by user. So we've got at the top level, we've got the user. And then below that, we've got team and the channels. And this is what they saw. So this is the messages within each of the channels that they're in during the time they're in them. Um, and we can either drill down by channel so we can see, you know, everything that I saw while I was in the off topic channel. Um, or if you want to search everything a user, uh, every sort of conversation user might have been part of, we've got the all messages page here, which is basically every channel that I was in that was captured in the legal hold with all the messages from when I was in it. Um, and if we wanted to look out for a, a particular topic of conversation that I might have uh, taken part in, we can search for, I don't know, let's let's look for test, see if I was in any uh, conversations involving test. So we can type that in the search in the browser. There we go. I was talking about it there. Um, Obviously, test organization is the names, a bit of a thing there, test there. So this is just a quick way to find, you know, certain keyword search for things I might have seen by searching on this page. We go back to the index page, and that's that's kind of the view. If there were other users, um, they would appear below me, but there was only me in this legal hold. There weren't any other users in this particular one. I think that just about covers everything at the moment.